Good afternoon on this bright sunny day with clear skies. I'm Cassandra Anderson saying news. Peel Regional Police provided an update on online threats towards six high schools located in Brampton, Mississauga. Police stated that they are conducting an active investigation on an anonymous online threat to go to schools on Friday intending to shoot them up. A letter has been stated out to parents and DPCDSB reassures four schools will see an increase of enhanced security. York Regional Police stated two separate shootings may be connected to each other and was targeted. Police were on site on Sumridge Drive near, near Dufferin Street and Highway 7 where one gunshot was fatal. Man was rushed to the hospital and later died as the other individual is in critical conditions. No one has been arrested and police have not released any suspect information as of yet. Central banks tell people to still prepare for raised rates while the Bank of Canada holds key interest rates steady. Policy rates remain at 4.5% and banks view that higher interest rates are doing what it is meant to do, discourage household spending and slow down the economy. National Food Crime Unit launched an investigation on supermarkets for selling South American beef as British. Supermarkets are on a high alert on food fraud. Minette Batters, NFU president, stated how this latest scandal can show how the system can be abused. A class action lawsuit with one of the lawyers over the RCMP's behavior at Vancouver Island. Hala Hamad stated that the lawsuit is allegedly forcing injunction order at the Ferry Creek site and that this is a police breach that public's constant that affects public's constitutional rights. Here is further information. Later updates. Atlantic Canada Luke Mazze won a $10,000 prepaid American Express card through Tim Horton's roll up and win contest. He stated that he took a screenshot and sent it to his wife when minutes after the price disappeared on his app. When he contacted Tim Hortons regarding the glitch, he was told to contact customer service. When Lou called, customer service said that because there was a glitch with his price, then there was a glitch overall. He was offered a $50 Tim Hortons gift card instead. He said that this really left a sour taste in his mouth after thinking he was able to get the express card for their anniversary trip. A same scenario happened to Sarah Smith in Nova Scotia, winning a large prize that came to find out it was a glitch in the system and did not receive a prize. Today is feeling more like spring with sun shining bright at 3 degrees, but feeling more like one with clear skies, 60% humidity, 9 kilometers per hour of wind with 14 kilometers per hour of wind gust. That is all the news for today. Enjoy the clear skies and the sunshine at 3 degrees. I'm Cassandra Anderson, Radio News.